This battle report is brought to you by patrons like EJ Moreland. You can help support the channel by becoming a patron at patreon.com forward slash dicecheckyt to get access to exclusive content not seen anywhere else or by clicking on the link in the description. Today's battle report is sponsored by FrontlineGaming.org, the leading company in tabletop events that hosts some of the largest Warhammer tournaments and events in the world. Not only do they sell amazing game mats that we use on a regular basis to help immerse ourselves into the game, but you can also get your hands on miniatures at a discounted price and listen to their collection of some of the most popular competitive 40k podcasts on the Frontline Gaming Network. If you want to join one of their events, tickets just went on sale for the Lone Star Open in Allen, Texas, where you can play some of your favorite tabletop games with people from all around the world by visiting FrontlineGaming.org or by clicking on the link in the description. Come on. Obviously, you're a skater. That's really good. <laughs> this is their stock gun. This is their stock, stock fist. Yeah. Is neg three? Negative three. <laughs> so I gotta make four sixes. Oh, I see three. I see four. four. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Dice Check. Today we are bringing to you another Into the Trenches Battle Report. We have a very special guest back once again. You may know him. It's Kenny. That's what my mom calls me. <laughs> what do people on the internet call you? Next Level Painting. Next Level Painting. Where can they find you? Just Google Next Level Painting. <laughs> I'm not going to bore you with all the different versions of that phrase. Yeah, I'll probably be some links down below. Um, find him there. He paints some awesome stuff. You'll see things like that you'll see on the tabletop, these knights, it's scary, they look really cool, they're kind of beat on me, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, so today I will be playing the Adeptus Mechanicus uh, in uh, Olin Mars. So I'm going to be getting a bunch of uh, buffs everywhere, be rolling hit rolls. How about yourself, man? What do you got over here? Well, I'm bringing the old Chaos Knights back off their apology tour for 2019 pre-pandemic with some Demon Engines, some Chaos Soup, some Red Corsairs. Uh, ooh, these new AdMech though. Yeah. <laughs> they have a, it's almost like they have this kind of built in narrative explanation for why they're so good at putting down vehicles. Yeah. All their, all, all their guns just have something like, do this. Oh, that's really good. And then special roll against vehicles, deal extra damage or yeah. something like that. Every one of them, I'm like, oh, that's a pretty okay gun. Wait, wait, what's that say? Against vehicles? Disregard previous statement unless you're <laughs> dealing with vehicles, in which case, use this damage profile. I don't like that damage profile. Yeah. <laughs> Before we move on, just want to mention that this battle report is sponsored by FLG. Uh, Frontline Gaming is probably one of the best networks out there. Grab game mats like these, awesome MDF terrain like we have here. Um, they host a bunch of ITC events such as the most recent one, Atlantic City Open, LVO, stuff like that. So go ahead, check them out. Link will be down below. If you're interested in getting cool, sick, custom objective markers like the ones we have, uh, check out 3D6 Wargaming. Um, you get six for 25 bucks. Put whatever picture you want. Maybe you can even get our own dice check one. But yeah, check out 3D6 Wargaming for some sick objective markers. In addition, if you'd like to continue to support us, check us out on Patreon, uh, patreon.com forward slash DiceCheckYT. We have reached our first goal, actually, of $1,000 per month, and we're slowly approaching that second goal. So, link, that, uh, link will be down below. Come on, check us out. So, for today's mission, uh, we'll be doing mission 21, Surround and Destroyer, from Grand Tournament Pack 2021. Uh, in terms of terrain here, we've got um, some obscuring terrain. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm, <laughs> six <we'll be> <laughs> fast to account, yeah. not obscuring yeah. terrain. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I also just jumped around everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so a bunch of obscuring terrain. Uh, these containers will act as containers, uh, non-breachable. These little things over here, they're not going to act as obscuring or anything. They're kind of just there for the aesthetics. Uh, same with this little thing over here in the corner. How about, why don't we move into our army list? Let's do it. Let's go. Today I'm bringing Chaos Knights and Chaos Space Marines. Chaos Space Marines, Red Corsairs. This is an old school choice. This is how we used to ramp up the command points to 18 CPs back in the day, which is currently not a thing. I actually played this list a lot in 2019 and I'm really interested to see how it stacks up in 2021 in ninth edition with eight command points. So what's cool about Red Corsairs is if you take three units of Chaos Space Marines, you actually get plus three command points. 
So I'm taking this battalion simply to have a couple of guys, two Lord Discordants. You know, they went up to 195 points, but they still fuck. I've got basic Chaos Base Marines to, f to fill that out, but also two Heldricks. They're one of my favorite units always. I think what's interesting about them now is finally, GW is acknowledged that they're not aircrafts with the fly keyword. They're not aircraft. They don't have the airborne keyword, but they still suffer from a utter lack of DPS. They're just able to do really flexible things. Chaos Knights, however. Used to be able to run three of these guys. That's not the case anymore. Our points have gone up substantially, but I've got two. Two despoiler class knights with thermal cannons. But where it gets complicated is I made these guys my warlord division, this super heavy detachment. Two despoilers, one is the warlord. He has the infernal quest warlord trait, which makes him objective secure. He also has the veil, which gives him a four up ion shield save, just innate. But they are iconoclast. So he also has the vow of dominance, which is transhuman for a knight. The other guy, he has the relic warp, uh, warp scene eye or something like that. Basically, he ignores modifiers when shooting. Uh, the cool new thing that's occurred since the old days is now I have the engine war dread bonds. So in addition to being iconoclast, I build a baird, endless torment. We'll call it Yo Dog House. And it lets me actually reroll one of the random number of dice per guy. So that's actually pretty substantial amount of DPS that I'm not used to for two random dice generating thermal cannons per guy. I had to take a war dog to make this a legal detachment instead of a third knight. He just has the auto cannons. I don't have any cool forge roll stuff in my collection, but I did find a pretty cool little thing. I made him a dread blade simply to take this totally useless power under normal circumstances. Nowhere of profane secrets. It's totally free. He's a dread blade. Basically on the first battle round, I get one command point for free. Add one to your command point, so I actually have nine to start the game. He has to, you know, roll his leadership check to not take the damnations. But as a side effect of knowers of the profane secret, he gets pumped some leadership. So he's leadership 10. So he's just gonna be doing his normal thing the whole game and brought me one free command point. For as far as secondaries are concerned, again, I'm lacking on certain actions and abilities. I've only got 16 infantry bodies. So I will take the new uh, Deploy Octavian scram Scramblers or whatever, data, retrieve data. I'm also gonna be taking engaging all fronts because that's again, that's a, just moving around doing my thing on my own fail rate. I don't wanna con be concerned with anything more complicated than that. I will be taking to the last, I believe it's called now, the old while we stand, we fight. So my two knights are my two most expensive units and one of my Lord Discordants, my Disco Lords is the other. We'll say the red guy for this battle. And shockingly, all that fits in a 2,000 point strike force army with eight command points. This was actually uh, my 2019 8th edition, like right when the Knights came out for Chaos. I played this all through 2019, different iterations. Did really well with it, actually. Okay. A lot of 5 and one finishes, a lot of majors. So kind of my uh, goal in bringing it today against yeah. you was like, how does it do still? Like, yeah. it's ninth edition now, it's 2021. We've got point hikes on the Knights. Kind of, you know, like, they were a little, little powerful back in 2019. There was some really uh, kind of semi-abusive weapon combinations that weren't that expensive. And it's, it seems like they kind of really pointed us up to kind of make up for that. I'm still playing the old Chaos Codex, so I have, you know, busted one wound uh, Chaos well, Marines. Yeah. I've got Lord Discordance, which is still the same, yeah. except they cost more points. They cost more, yep. So it's the same list I used to play, minus a lot of the utility uh, elements and minus an entire night. Hey, what's up everyone? John P. Today I'll be playing Admech in a battalion and a patrol detachment. Both are Mars this time. I'm not gonna try to overdo it and confuse myself. Uh, starting off with the battalion detachment. I have my Skatari Marshal. He's my warlord. He's gonna have a relic called the Exemplar's Eternity, which allows me to not only give up the reroll uh, wound roll of one aura, it also gives him the reroll hit roll of one aura. He also has the warlord trait, Biosphere Uplink, um, so I can pick a unit within nine inches and they can fire heavy weapons as if they did not move. Next up, I have my Tech Priest Engine Seer, who I upgraded into the Holy Order of the Artisans. Uh, with the initial part of that one, I can plant something in the command phase, and they can fall back and shoot with a minus one to hit penalty, kind of like the Ultramarines uh, thing. If I take the action to go into the Advanced Holy Order, I can point at something and give them plus one to strength in shooting. And next up from HQs, I have uh, Tech Priest Manipulus. Uh, I gave him a relic. It's the Raiment of Techno Martyr. 
He can point at a unit and they uh, do not suffer any penalties to their ballistic skill modifiers. He also is upgraded into the Holy Order of the Logi, so I can also point at a unit and make them ignore AP1 or AP2. So, uh, gonna be pretty strong. <laughs> and for troops, I have two 20-man blobs of Skatari Rangers, all kitted out with Galvanic Rifles. And then uh, I also give one guy the Omni Spec so that they can ignore the benefits of cover. They have their three-inch pregame move, which is gonna be good for helping me to uh, get on those objectives early on. For my last troop choice, I have a 10-man blob of Skatari Rangers, uh, also just with the Galvanic Rifles. Moving on to fast attack, I have two two-man squads of Iron Strider Bellistarius. Uh, both of them have the twin last cannons. D3 plus three damage, gotta take it. Eight last cannon shots. It's gonna be really good against um, all the vehicles that he's gonna be bringing. Uh, last but not least, I have the Cerebus Raiders uh, in a six-man squad. These guys are just gonna be there to scout, screen out the pregame movement. And then for heavy support, I have two Onager Dune Crawlers. Both of them have the Neutron Lasers, uh, Assault D3, just an another big gun with D3 plus 3 damage to help me take down those big vehicles that he's got. Uh, onto my patrol detachment, I have a Techno Archaeologist. Uh, he's just going to be the, the one HQ for this group. I have him mostly so that for his action in the command phase, where he can point at a unit of Cataphrons and they can perform an action as if they were infantry and they can shoot even though they perform the action without failing. For troops in this detachment, I have two five-man blobs of Cataphron Breachers. They just both have the Arc Claws and the Arc Gun. Obviously, I'm gonna be going against a lot of vehicles, so those guns have, uh, I think, three damage against vehicles, and they wound on unmodified rolls of four or higher against vehicles, uh, regardless of the strength. And for fast attack, I have the Taraxi Sterilizers, the Flying Bat Boys with the torches. Uh, these guys are going to help me get engaged, uh, zip zap around the map, maybe perform an action, retrieve the Octarius data or something. And last but not least for my fast attack, I have three Sidonian Dragoons. All three of them kitted out with Taser Lances. Um, these are just fast things that are going to tie things up in melee for me. And then for my secondaries that I took today, I took Engage in All Fronts because I have a lot of things that are fast, going to be moving around the map. I also took Retrieve Octarius Data. Data? 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 Obviously, I took the Techno Archaeologist which can point at a Cataphron Breacher unit, and they can perform an action and shoot without failing. So that's gonna be really useful. I also have the Taraxi. They're gonna be able to deep strike in and out of the map. And last but not least, I'm going against a list that has a bunch of demon engines, you know, some big knights. So I decided to take bring it down. I am Mad Mech. They've got a lot of guns that are good against vehicles. So I'm gonna be killing vehicles anyways. Why not score points for it? Altogether, my list comes out to 1,996 points, and I will be starting with HCP. Well, you have a few units on the table. I have a lot. Uh, I could barely fit into my deployment zone. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that's that's new Mad Mech. They increased the limit of Skatari Rangers from like 10 to 20. Now everyone's just bringing them in 20-man blobs. So why the hell not? <laughs> You can do it, and they got the stratagems to buff them up and deal with uh, this big stuff. I think the technical term is that your your list has more length and girth yeah. than mine. Yours is like short little chode, is, mm -hmm. is what you call it? My list is very chode-like, comparatively. <laughs> uh, you, you ready to roll off, man? Let's do this thing. Let's go. Cool. <clears throat> oh, oh, strong oh. lead. Strong lead. Polar opposites. <laughs> Six Ooh. to one. Okay, I guess I'm going first. Well, good luck to you, good brother. Luck, man, let's have a good one. <laughs> uh, so before the game starts, uh, I have some pregame move to do. My rangers get three inches of pregame move, and then I already move my raiders over here. Uh, from there, 12 inches up to here, over on this objective with Matt's lovely face on it. So after this, we have my command phase, which I have like 10 things to do. So <laughs> all this, all 10 things. Look at this maintenance list I got to do. <laughs> so first up, Holy Order of the Logi. <laughs> For my Manipulus, I'm gonna point at these boys here, uh, my Rangers over here. Um, they're gonna be ignoring AP1 and AP2. I'm gonna be doing the, the raiment of uh, Techno Martyr. At the same boys, they're also gonna be um, ignoring any or all hit modifiers in the shooting phase. The Bowser uh, Warlord trait from my Skatari Marshal also gonna be pointed at these boys. They're just gonna be getting all the buffs. Control Edict also on these boys so they can ignore the depreciation effect of my Doctrina Imperative. <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to be here, I'm sorry. Uh, so the one that I'm picking for this turn is the Bulwark Imperative. I'm going to be increasing the cover save of my Skatari units by one, and the depreciation effect is uh, reducing their movement by three inches. Uh, but this unit right here is going to be ignoring the depreciation effect because of the Marshal. Techno Archaeologists will point at this unit of Cataphron Breachers uh, so that they can perform actions this turn. Last but not least, my Canticles. 
Uh, for this turn, I'm going to do, be doing the Benediction of the Anasaya. Uh, so with this Canical Active, I can reroll one hit roll, uh, one wound roll, and one damage roll. At the end of my movement phase, uh, so I moved up my Dragoons just a little bit. Uh, they're only able to move seven inches. Here, I've got Breachers to scoot over. Moving to the fire lane, hopefully uh, going to deal some damage. I'm also going to have them uh, perform an action. They're going to retrieve the Octarius Data. Uh, because of the Techno Archaeologists, Techno Archaeologists, they're able to, what you call <laughs> it? <laughs> Stupid name. I hate that name. <laughs> I'm going to say it just like that every single time. But yeah, um, because of that ability that he gave them, he can, they can shoot and perform an action. Over here, just scoot over my Iron Striders. Uh, just getting that fire lane. Also, <laughs> I don't like I don't like that pan. <laughs> I don't like what you panned up. <laughs> Same over here, firing lane mm. over there. Oh, yeah. We we knew with this deployment style, first turn is gonna be kind of brutal. Um, Rangers moved up just a little bit. Uh, Iron Strides moved up to firing lane. Uh, Onager Doom Crawler. So that might have been a fast pan. Doom Crawler scooted up, firing lane. <laughs> Uh, my Raiders got their pregame move. They went from there to here. Now they're up here. Uh, they got into the other quadrant and will get score me points for engage. Uh, these Raiders over here that I gave like seven buffs <laughs> are just good up here, close to the objective marker. But uh, you know, they're just gonna be standing there. Got the characters right here behind the terrain. And then these boys kind of just stayed put here, gonna be holding this objective. And last but not least, uh, over here on Demeki's lovely face, we've got Doom Crawler to just move up over here too. Yeah. There's Matt. There's Kenny. I feel like a lot of bullets are aimed at a lot of my, my robots. So <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm going to just roll some four up saves. I believe it. All right, cool. Uh, we're going to be going to my shooting phase now. I'll start first, I guess, with these breachers over here. Uh, only four of them can shoot because this uh, is behind the obscuring terrain here, this glass guy. So uh, I think we'll just be firing at your Heldrake right here. Boop, there you go. Eight shots. Hitting on fours. Excuse me. And then um, uh, wounding on fours because of the gun that they have uh, wounds vehicles on fours. That force. seems unfair. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Heldrake has a demon save, so you said three? Yeah, three of them. Make one. Make take, one. A, take a six damage. Uh, yep, three damage each. Uh, I guess next up will be the Iron Striders. Uh, Gonna be firing at the same one. Uh, Doesn't have airborne, it's not an aircraft. It's literally just a flyer force organization chart with the flyer fly keyword. This one will fire at it. The other one, I guess, will fire at your knight. <laughs> that's the only thing you can see. This one right here? Yeah, that one right there. <coughs> just in case it's not clear, I'll rotate iron shields on this one over here. Okay. The one you're aiming at, at already has a four up. Nice. Oh, that's the, the bulky boy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do the first one, shooting at your Heldrake. Two shots, hitting on threes. Seven, so threes. So same. Uh, land one. Oh, I uh, can reroll one because of the benediction that I'm assigned. I totally forgot to do it last time, but I'll do it now. <laughs> land it. Cool. So two? Uh, two at minus. You have invuln. <laughs> Five up. Make one. Make one. D3 plus three. I can reroll one. Don't. I can reroll a damage roll because of my thing. Uh, boop, boop, boop. So that's five? Uh, Puts him on his last wound. Yeah. I'm going to reroll it because I might as well just try to kill it. Okay. Same. <laughs> Two. Cool. And then the other one will fire your knight. Same. Two shots. I can reroll the. I can reroll one hit roll. And then so that's for benediction and assignment. This one's for Mars. Cool. Uh, yeah. Okay. Strength nine. So threes. So here's the four up iron shield saves right here. Let's go. Make one. Make one. D three plus three. Five total. You said. Yeah. Five total. Not uh, looking good. Hell Drakes. <laughs> Hell Drakes. Uh, I guess we will try to finish off that Hell Drake with these boys here. We're just gonna dump everything into him. <laughs> How many hits? I'm strength four. Uh, six is deal immortal. Oh, that sucks. So one <laughs> six and then he's gone. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I got two sixes. No. Oh. <laughs> Heldrake, do you explode? Heldrake. Let's see here. Oh. He does not. Heldrake um, down. One Heldrake down. I think these boys will fire at that night. Four last cans going to there. Uh, hitting on threes. We run one because of Mars. Nice. We're on one because of the benediction of Omnisaya. Wow. All four? Yeah. High and shield saves right here. We'll make Ooh, all but one. All Look but at one. that. Nice. Let's go. D3 plus three. Uh, another two, so five damage. Uh, let's just check. We can all make it. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Some, some arc rifle action. Yeah, some arc rifle action. So all five here into that night. Does there? Ten, Ten shots. shots. Fours. Five misses. And always wins on fours, right? <laughs> yeah, always wins on fours. Right, swing yeah. it back. And then I can reroll one because of the canticle I picked. Oh, one to a one. Another three flat damage action. So we need fours from our ion shields. Ooh, oh, nine damage. That's below average. <laughs> that's how much we've taken so far. What is that? Uh, 11, 12, 13, 14. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Uh, okay, this Doom Crawler will fire into that night. Oh gosh. Uh, this is for shots. Two shots. Two shots hitting on threes. Uh, both hit. Yeah, that seems good. I missed. Classic. Cool, both wounds uh, on your invuln. All right, so here we go. Double iron shields. Let me get some fours, baby. Negative. Oh. That's bad. Okay, D3 plus three for both. That's bad. Uh, two for both, so ten more damage. Ten more damage, oh, so jeez. So twenty-four. That's all the wounds. Oh god. <laughs> right? Is that what it's? Yeah. Eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's all of them. <laughs> oh god. So does this knight blow up? Does this knight? He does not. Okay. So knight down. So that's a, that's a pretty casual amount of firepower that you just threw at me. Yeah. <laughs> just kind of like not even that concentrated. There go there goes the knight. Yeah. Oh man. Kind of shows you, you, you were, uh, where knights are at these days. Yeah. I mean, you, uh, your saves were not very kind to you. <laughs> these guys, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So s four, the other 14 can see. And, these, uh, this, and, and this is going to be at your Heldrake. And the, what are these all like? Uh, wound on four, three flat damage guns or something? <laughs> not these ones. These are <laughs> strength four, hitting on threes. So I'm going to be on fives, I think. Okay, here we go. Hitting on threes. Take out the twos. <laughs> He's going to be fine. One or two, one or two. Uh, Hook me up. Uh, I can reroll one because uh, of the benediction. More th more th oh, keep oh. the fuck out of here. <laughs> it was close. <laughs> oh, man. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, How many wounds is that? 40? Uh, so three, six, ten. So five up in vulnerables. <clears throat> oh. None. One. Oh, one. So it's one damage each? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine? Yeah. Nine wounds. Okay, this last onager will shoot at uh, shoot at the other knight. Oh, the one who just casually took a fiver. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so the three shots, uh, one shot, one shot hitting on threes, uh, hits uh, winning on threes. Uh, I can reroll because the canical I picked. And the five. Mm, here we go. Iron shield. Oh. oh, we're gonna make one one day. Don't <laughs> worry. D three plus three. Uh, three, so six. Okay, I think that's gonna do it for <laughs> my turn. Oh man, that was, I, oh, I knew it was gonna have a good shooting phase, but man, I wasn't expecting to kill a knight on turn one. <laughs> wow. I expect a knight to, to die turn one. I would say I didn't expect a casual knight afterthought after targeting the, the Heldrake down. Yeah. And then a casual knight drops and then half another knight. That's, so that's a, that's, a, that's a healthy amount of DPS that this army can deploy. Yeah. I, I, will, right. I will buy you dinner, Kenny. <laughs> I'm going to buy this man dinner. I'm buying this man dinner tonight. I'm sorry. Bro. Heldrake, Knight, you will be missed. <laughs> but he is pushing it on me pretty hard. I mean, he's got lots of things in my grill to worry about. He's body blocking me. All of his guns just chilling in his backfield, just nasty, right? We've got five objectives to contend with. I'll be able to hold objectives and score points uh, but I'm already at like a, close to a 600 point deficit, uh, which is not unexpected. So I'm just going to have to push forward, grab objectives. I'm going to put bullets in the most, you know, like the best places possible. Yeah. Right. He was really smart. John P. Really good job targeting Heldrake out the gate. Thank a lot you. of people make that mistake and they uh, go for the knights. You know, it's not even about the flamers. Yeah. I don't care about them. It's oh, about yeah. it's the 30 inch move. And yeah. I literally would have gone over here and touched every unit in your army with a Heldrake and, yeah. and an assault. And then you wouldn't have been able to shoot for two turns. Yeah. Uh, for points this turn, uh, I'm in three quadrants for engage. Uh, so right there. And then obviously my back two. So that is two points for being in three quadrants. Uh, retrieved Octarius data here. Uh, no points for me yet because that's just one action so far. And then I killed a knight, which is three points for bringing it down. And then I killed a Heldrake, which is uh, two points for bringing it down. So what's going on? So I started the game with eight command points. I did strategic reserves, went down to seven. Then I rotated Iron Shields, went down to six. Top of my first turn, actually, the Nowhere of Profane Secrets came into play, and I got one CP one time 
but also my free CP for the command phase. So I actually went up two command points back up to my eight. So it's a pretty cool little trick. Just shoved the dread blade uh, packed on this guy. Uh, and so doesn't really matter. He doesn't interact with my army in any other way, but to provide me a free command point. Let's go. War dog. Please take it off me. <laughs> <laughs> So I just jammed some uh, Red Corsairs on this objective, which we're going to start an action. We're going to deploy them fucking scramblers. Yeah. Okay, I'm not going to say the other thing. <laughs> Moved up some uh, Disco Lords. It's not as optimized as I'd like it to be, but we're going to try to clear this objective real quick. Tear these dudes up. Heldrake is going to just put his flamer somewhere. We're hoping to just like grab things and stop things from shooting. Uh, he's almost dead, so like whatever he does is great. The knight... Luckily, still in his top bracket. It's going to try to really just get lucky with some bullets and split fire. Uh, and our armor gur is just literally just holding an objective back here. He'll throw some bullets where he needs to. But uh, ultimately, we're just trying to play the objective game right now and just take away some of John P's DPS. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go into my old shooting phase, John. All right, let's go, so, sir. I'll just start the show with the, with, the, with the heater. The knight will activate. We're going to play a stratagem as 2CP, uh, Trail of Destruction. It's one of the only cool things we have. It's full rerolls. Split fire one thermal cannon to these chicken walkers, one thermal cannon to these chicken walkers. All right. Okay? And we still have a heavy stubber. I will just say stubber here. Here's the D6 random number of shots going to Heldrake front. Iron Striders. So it's D6. Two. I'm going to use my Endless Torment to get the free reroll right now. Goes to six, baby. All right. So here's uh, six shots to those uh, Iron Striders just chilling right there in the cut. Hitting on threes, full rerolls because of Trail of Destruction. It's all hits, baby. Let's go. Right. Yeah, yeah. So it's four neg four. Four six up invulnerable saves to make. Let's go. So three go through. We'll roll them one by one. And the way the old Melter rule is, is uh, it's 2d6 pick the highest. Let's go. So here's the first set. I'm rolling two dice, picking the Ooh. highest. Six, picking the highest, four, the highest, four. So. Four, okay, they're both dead. Uh, they both explode. Let's see if any damage is dealt. Let's see if they explode. Ooh. Neither of them explode. The other thermal cannon to the other group. Random shots, five, I'll take it. Hitting on threes again. Dead. Trail of destruction, I get to reroll the one fail. It's all hits. We need threes to convert. Five wounds, baby. Six ups, let's go. Well, one six, so four. Damage rolls incoming. So we're, again, within half range. Two dice pick the highest. Gone. Two dice pick the highest. <laughs> gone. Nice. Oh, one explosion. Ooh, I get a free explosion. Right. Maybe I kill a character. Okay, so yeah, so we didn't decide which one died first, so uh, which one exploded. Uh, so say so high roll is the yeah. one that you do or do not want. You okay. just decide. Yeah, one and three will be this one. Four, five, six will be this one. There you go. Four, five, six. Four, five, the guy six. does not does not interact. Okay, so, so uh, only the only one within three inches is this unit right here, mm -hmm. a breacher. So we will see uh, how much how many mortars are dealt. Yeah. And here, uh, this one. Good job, knight. You did your job. So all I really have left is the hell drake and the armager, the 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 war dog, whatever the chaos version is called. So I guess um, I don't know what these guys' stat line is. Uh, what are they, the same? Yeah, same. T6, six wounds. They're a nat minus one to hit. Though. Okay, so we'll put the Armager's auto cannons into them. Okay. Which is each auto cannon is actually D3. Or 2D3, sorry. So 2D3, two 2D3. Two so three, or two is three total, four, five, six, seven. Seven shots, pretty standard. Hitting on threes. So wounding on threes. Yeah. So it's three at minus one. The imperative I picked, they are saving on twos. Uh, with your minus one, it's actually threes. Three at my, uh, three. Oh, Ooh. that's awful. Ask me how much flat damage an armor girl auto cannon is. How much flat damage? Three flat damage. Ooh. So you killed one, and the other takes uh, three. Yep. Yeah. So it's actually um, a little stronger than I thought. We'll go back over to here. Um, Breachers. We'll just we'll throw the we'll throw the Drake Flamer there. Okay. And so it's D six shots. Three. We need threes to wound. It's three neg two. Okay. To these breaches right here. All right. Saving on fours. Uh, save one, fail one. So that so, one that, so that I one. started working on? Yeah, that one died. One. Hey, we actually took a two-shot weapon off the table. I believe that's all my bullets, guys. I think it's going to be a simple case of these two Lord Discordants running into these poor little guys. I encourage you. Uh, uh, these boys can actually, uh, whatchamacallit, run away <laughs> uh, when you declare a charge on them. Okay. Yeah. I'll charge them 
here to there first, and yeah. now you decide, right, order of operations, what mm -hmm. you want to do. So now what? Uh, so uh, that's tactical oblique, so I can move away 12 inches. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm not going to completely run away because I want the objective still. <laughs> they changed it. It used to be like way worse, right? Like it like jacked you of your entire charge, and now I'm allowed to just pick another target if I want. Yeah, now you're allowed to. So we have soft eight from this guy now, yes. which means the seven will get him there. Yeah. So we'll keep the charge target the same. Looking for that sweet seven. We'll use a command point reroll. I want to hit this really bad, so here we go. He fails it. And the other guy will have to make the, char the charge attempt as well because it's really important. Let's see if there's a closer avenue, actually. A soft nine, eight category, okay. so he, here we go. I love charging. Got it. Nice. Okay, so the Helldrake is going to make a charge. So the Helldrake is going to charge... Nominate this unit as its charge. Okay. Just these Vanguard or whatever they are. So if you want to burn two CPUs, go for it. Hit yeah. on sixes and try to. Uh, yeah, I'll spend the one sixes CP. Sixes and Overwatch. fives. Yeah. <laughs> uh, spend the one CP for Overwatch. Look at this fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy with his tiny hands. <laughs> Got a little boy 20 hands. ass dice. Yeah, I can't fit 20 dice in my hands. I, bless, I blame my genes. Cool. All right, we're firing Overwatch here. Fishing for sixes. <laughs> Oh my god, picture in picture. A POV. Get out of here. All right. None. Uh, Get out of here. Zero. Three. I think. Is this three? That's awful. That's what I, that's there you go. <laughs> that's good, Overwatch. Good use of a command point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep it up. Keep it up. Let's go. Cool. We'll just move these out of the way. I think I'm moving on fives. Fives, yeah. Oh, oh there's two. all those other sixes. I'll just sneak <laughs> in here right Minus now. One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, here, Put oh, in my here, hand. Here. Put my hand. Picture in picture. Minus yeah. minus and one. Here we go. Make them Ooh. both. Eat a dick. Ooh. Dick has been eating. your dick. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see how far this hell Drake can go. He's going a, a total of five. That's going to be enough to do what I want to do. So what my yep. goal is here is to take this five all the way up to its maximum distance right here. Okay. And so I'm going to skirt around right here. I'm not going to deliberately not going to touch the Skatari Rangers because yep. when I activate this guy, I'm going to take my entire three inches into this Dune Crawler. Yep. While also moving the extra half inch I need to get close to this unit to, faci to facilitate the correctness of the rules. Yep. So that I can drag him in without taking his neutron laser in Overwatch. Yep. I will activate the Helldrake first. Yep, that's smart. So I'll do that now. And so it's su super easy. I'll take the entire three inches and then base these guys and drag this guy into the close combat. That's what Helldrakes do for a living. He only has three. And he only hits on fours. So it's four attacks because of the, the hateful assaults. He actually fucking hits them all. Oh, let's go. Get out of here. And what's your toughness three? Toughness three. So he actually wounds on twos. All wounds. And I think it's just straight up minus one D3 damage. Minus one. Looking for fives here. Got one five. So two, two just straight up die because of D3 damage. Pretty much every time a Lord Discordant hits the close combat, you want to throw the Demon Forge stratagem from the Chaos Codex. It's one command point for a Demon uh, Engine unit. Full rerolls to hit and wound. So, all hits. That's standard operating procedure. And your toughness is three. You said T uh, four. T four. Yeah. So he's at actually he's strength double, but on the, when he charges, so it's eight. So twos again, and it's full rerolls. Doesn't matter. It's five neg twos right out the gate for oh, the. Right. Uh, that's the war glaive. So looking for sixes here. Well, they have a two up save built in. So what was that? Oh wait, you're looking for sixes. Yes. Yeah, 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 sixes. Uh, but 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 I'll fail. So uh, they, you said there were two dam or two wounds each or three wounds? Uh, two wounds each. So each one of those has two damage. Okay, so five die. Yeah. All right, you still got the, the Hellstalker, yeah, right? So that, yeah, he's got more than the Hellstalker, though. So he's got the Hellstalker. Hits on twos with full rerolls. And check it out, Death to the False Emperor. You are an Imperium unit. I get to throw another dice for that six. All, so now it goes up to six. And the Hellstalker is strength seven. So winning on threes, full rerolls. And the Hellstalker, again, is neg two. And you got five neg two saves to make. Sixes. Uh, he dead. Yeah, he dead. I will absolutely try to force him to have to do something to shoot next turn. Mm -hmm. So, pink. Tamp. That's the turn. Okay. I mean, you can throw your attacks back with these guys. Oh, yeah, actually, I can so. throw attacks back. Oh, so. what do you need, like 47 dice again? Yeah, exactly. How'd you get the number right? <laughs> I just know. <laughs> All right, so what has happened here, Kenny? So I just remembered, because I was reminded, that in close combat in 9th edition, you actually move twice. You move to pile in and then consolidate. So I'm actually going to deliberately not do this, this action I was working on here, because he can still skirt around me by just not basing me and then just continuing to skirt around me as he piles in. So 
we're just going to stay there and just take the shots and make him work for it yeah. versus just get it for free because he's objective secure. So I'm going to be swinging back at his, uh, his hell drag here. Fours. Sixes. 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 Don't fail. Oh, it fails. Ah, one fail. Kane did some damage back to me. He took out my chicken walkers over here and over here. Um, pushed me back on this objective over here. My raiders have died. Um, he is tagging my boys back here. I think he killed like two uh, <laughs> rangers. Seems right. Yeah. Um, they have OP. High. Yeah. Uh, he also killed one Sidonian dragon over here. All right. So for points, uh, Kenny, how many, uh, how many like, did you get for engage? So this guy made it. Oh, but he was in the corner as the hell drake. So Four. just two engage points. Okay. Uh, we've begun deploying scramblers. And we are still have two of our while we stand, we fight units alive. So two points currently. As we head to round two, uh, we're going to score primers also. So I will get points here and here. So I get 10 points for primers. And then I do not score anything else at the beginning of my command phase. OK, so we are in my command phase. I have a lot of upkeep that I need to take care of. First things first, uh, for my Doctrina, I'm going to be picking Conquer Imperative. Increase my weapon skill by one and decrease my blood skill by one. For my canticle, I'm going to be taking the Chant of the Remorseless Fist to increase my strength by one in melee. And then. Oh. <laughs> fuck uh, out of here. I yeah. got it. Something for everything. <laughs> uh, all my pointy stuff, uh, I'm going to be pointing Arsons here so they can fall back and shoot. And I'm going to be pointing the Raymond here so that they can ignore any or all um, hit modifiers. Gonna be pointing low guy there. Gonna be pointing the go vine. Everything from these two guys is gonna go there. Yeah. <laughs> That's the, same the whole that. list, right? That makes it easier. Yeah. Uh, and then my uh, techno archaeologist will point here at, for the uh, the action thing. That is my command phase. Round two movement phase over here. Just slid my techno archaeologist onto the objective with Matt Pog. Um, these breachers are in position to hopefully take challenge this night. <laughs> uh, same with this dragoon. This man's scary. We gotta send everything at him. Um, over here, I just fell back with my rangers and my doom crawlers. Uh, they're not gonna be able to do anything this turn, but uh, now open for fire from my breachers, uh, which are over here. If they fail for some reason, I have my rangers over here on the backfield objective uh, that can hopefully help out, and my tech priest. Uh, this thing didn't move. Uh, it already has a nice shot at um, either this Disco Lord or that Disco Lord. Uh, over here, just glued my boys over to wrap around and get on the objective. Just tap it. Give it, give it a little love tap. Uh, and then last but not least, I deep struck my Taraxi Sterilizers back over here. Uh, this will get me points for engage. And then uh, maybe I could just flamer these boys off the objective. I'm going to retrieve Octarius data with this unit. <laughs> Uh, so first, I'm going to fire my breachers here into the night. And on fours. Uh, then I wound on fours. Fours? How's my, that even possible? My wound's on fours, and then yours makes it so that I can't wound higher than fours. <laughs> so just fours. <laughs> I only land one. Oh, God. Yeah. All right, here uh, we go. Minus two. So he has the veil, so he's always going to be hitting it on a four. Don't suck. Yeah, he sucks. <sighs> Three damage. Uh, next up, I guess these breachers will fire here. Fours. Uh, I don't feel like he's long for this world, John yeah. P. Uh, that wound on fours? Give me one. Uh, oh, this one. Hopes and dreams, Hell Drake. He's got, what, three wounds left on his dial? Yeah. So these are three, da three flight damage? Yeah, three flight damage to vehicles. So we have a five up and vulnerable. <clears throat> Suck it, John P. That's I a six. Looks I guess I'll shoot here. Oh, this into, is the super squad? Yeah, into your disco lord. Um, I'm going to use a stratagem here mm. called Galvanic Volley Fire. Something ridiculously. Yeah, something ridiculous. Yeah, so it changes Sh my, um, my. Shoot heavy. twice or something? Yeah, it changes my weapons from heavy to rapid fire. Uh, so now I'll get rapid fire shots. So double the shots? <laughs> double the shots. It's uh, 80 shots. Um, oh my god. I might as well just top it off with Wrath of Mars. Uh, so that's two more CP. More CP going in this lad right here. It better be worth it. <laughs> cool, so let's gather the dice. You like my, my counting form? Look at this. Uh, batches of 10. You know, I, I think in the past life I worked for a money laundering scheme or something. <laughs> <laughs> 40 dice. Can barely hold them. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, it's T T6. Yeah, T6. Uh, six is our mortals. Woo! This is bad. All right, so I wound you on fives. I don't know if he's going to make it, brother. <laughs> how many I, is that? How many wounds does he have? Uh, he has 12 total. So 12. Okay, so six left already because of mor because of the mortals. So I got to make nine. Ten saves. That was just the first block. <laughs> For, this is half. Yeah. So minus twos. Yeah. So was it one damage? Yeah, one damage each. So he's dead. Oh. The save explodes. Oh. Oh, dear God. No, he does not. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's, what, that's what I expected. Yeah. He got him. Please stop burning a lot of CPs. Yeah, that was 4 CP for that. <laughs> 4 CP trade. Take it. Doom Crawler here. Uh, you're a disc caller. It's just creeping around the corner. I see him. I see you. You think you're sneaky? Nope. Okay, so we'll do the heavy stuff for us. We got fives. One wound. Yeah. Yeah. So he's got a two up save because he's a Lord Discordant. Oh, uh, fuck yeah. Uh, neutron laser, D3 shots. I got three. That's how, that, that's how those work. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Smart uh, plays. Yeah. Big, big brain plays. <laughs> uh, wound. Five up demon saves. It makes one. Fails one. So D3 plus three? Yeah, D3 plus three. Uh, oof, uh, six. Next will be the... Flamer guys? Yeah, the flamer guys over here. Uh, measured all are in range to fire at... What's the range of the flamers? Uh, Twelve. Sick. <laughs> uh, wounding you on fours. And are these guys robot men, or are they, like, humans? Uh, I think they're humans, because they're Skatari. Uh, so, five coming at you. And I, oh, I'm sorry, it's minus one AP. Oh, of course it is. <laughs> so, these are four ups. Oh! So yeah. Nutty! Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think we'll just go into the charge phase now. I'll, I'll charge with the Dragoons first. Would, would you like to Overwatch, sir? Yeah, Overwatch. Let's go. Overwatch these Dragoons right here. Let's see if we can get lucky. Endless Torment. D6 shots. We'll, just, we'll take that roll. That's 11, 11? shots. It's okay. 11 shots. I'm going to need some dice, Tom P. It's, yeah, it's more than I expected. <clears throat> yeah. Got a couple oh, hits. Three. And we need uh, threes again. Two. That's invulnerables or whatever. Negative. It's negative four. Take them both. Okay, so. Oh, God. Do I just die? One of them is uh, three <laughs> wounds left, right? Yeah. So it's two dice. Pick the highest because you're in critical range. He's gone. He's gone. Now the other one is full up. Two dice. Pick the highest. And he's got one wound left. Got one. <laughs> but I do, let's, let's see if we can clear it with the heavy stubber. Oh, jeez. One hit. Uh. Nothing. Uh. So, not bad. One CP, dropped one, and almost wrecked one. Yeah. Uh, let's see what, if I can make the charge. Oh, I rolled the, the most unnecessary. Six? Twelve? Sixes. I rolled the most unnecessary 12, 12 ever. <laughs> cool. I believe this is a, it's a fiber. Got nine. I think I'll charge here. To the Helldrake? Yeah. Uh. Okay, they're in six. <laughs> so you should be nine, right? Yeah, you should be nine. Yeah. Over the shoulder. What you got? Six. <laughs> <laughs> that would be so high. <laughs> yeah, that would be a real box cars there. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll attack with the breachers first. Uh, we'll pull in deep. What you call Four it? attacks Four each. Four attacks each. <laughs> See, my favorite unit. <laughs> of your team can. <laughs> uh, and that wound you on fours. We're looking for a streak here. We're looking for a, a no fours streak. No, uh, it's a oh, lot of fucking geez. fours. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of fours. I landed eight of them, and the minus on it is minus three. What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> this is their stock gun. This is their stock, their stock fist? Yeah. Is neg three? Negative three. Because <laughs> these are on sixes. Oh, really? They, have, not, they don't have any special saves in close combat. He doesn't have an invuln? No. In close combat? Oh, no, shit. No, dude. They're not. They're, they're 465 points of apology to her right oh, now, God. dude. So I got to make four sixes on this. Just to, to pull this out. Oh, I see three. I see four. four. <laughs> sixes, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Oh, God. Two wounds left. Guess who's interrupting? He is. <laughs> Guess who is wow. down to one command point and interrupting? <laughs> Actually, what's the shock lance guy? What's the math of this guy hurting me? Uh, he'll be hitting on twos because of the thing I took. Uh, he gets four attacks. Four attacks. Uh, it's, sixes, it's on twos. Score, sixes are double exploding. So he rolls a six, he gets two. Yeah. And, and then, then what's, I, the wound, what's the wounds like? Uh, two damage, minus two AP, uh, I'd be eight strength, so I wouldn't even force. We're straight up going to definitely try to kill that guy. Yeah. Because uh, he has a really good math of jacking me up. So we still have our basic number of attacks, which is four base, where Iconoclast, that goes to five. Triple that because of Happy Feet special oh, roll. Oh, Happy Feet. So 15 attacks. Oh, yeah, they are minus one to hit. We're minus one to hit? Uh, let me check if it's just shooting. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing Each it. Each time an attack is made. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. So one, two, three, four. I've got three more dice to throw in this box real quick. We need sixes to hit. We got one. 
One. How many wounds is that? Like? He's one wound left. We're gonna we're gonna flip it. Last okay. CP. We're burning our last CP. <laughs> okay. Okay. We went down to zero CP to try to kill this guy off his last wound to keep this four hundred sixty-five point oh, no. We failed. Chaos giveth and it taketh. John P. Swing at me. I think that makes up for the four sixes you rolled before. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I burned up. I burned up my luck. Oh god. I burned up my luck. <laughs> okay. So, uh, Dragoon will hit you with um, four attacks. Okay. And then when you have force, fives. Ooh. We're out of CPs. Oh. We're out of CPs, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I didn't see the last Two one. Two flat damage, you said? Yes. So, oh, out of six, he blows. No. Uh. And he, see, and a lot of times I think about budgeting that last command point to see if I can do the auto explode on a four. I still roll three. <laughs> it it would have been wasted anyway. Yeah. So that's it. 465 points. But it still took a lot. Yeah. Like, that was a huge amount of interaction to kill a knight, and I'm pleased with that result. I, I, I like him over there. He looks really cool. He looks especially, really cool in the dead pile. Especially off of, <laughs> on the other side of the battlefield. <laughs> so now we know these astral claws yeah. are preposterous, this, and that this, Heldrake is not long for this world. Things are brutal. 20 attacks, hitting out fours, always wounds on four against the vehicle. Can this Heldrake do it? Ooh, ooh, that's not a very good roll. So he needs fives. What's the math here? I have three wounds left, so I need to pass three of these. Yeah. Okay, guys, can we do it again? Three fives. No. Oh, he, that was he, close. He gone. Does he explode? Does he explode? Negative. Oh, the artistic side of the this table. Is, this is where the cool stuff goes yeah. right here. So going into my command phase, I am holding two. Yep. He unfortunately did clear my knight, uh, which would have been awesome because that was my objective secure knight. We have to bring units on from... Strategic reserves, John P. is going to definitely let me do that because I don't <laughs> think he screened the sides. Yeah. We, that's not that kind of fight. So he's maxed out. <laughs> he, he's completely, utterly removed my 15 or 12 capable points from that secondary. So we just have to focus on the scramblers and engage and do our best before we run out of units because we're, 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 we're running light on units there. Uh, at the end of my turn, I scored uh, points for engage. Uh, two more. No. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. Yeah. They're there. And then uh, I deployed my second scrambler over here. No. Oh, wait, yeah. <laughs> that guy, yeah. <laughs> oh, the two automatic. Yeah. yeah. That's why we're both doing yeah. it. <laughs> three and two for bring it down. Oh, wait, this guy's a uh, vehicle also, right? Right. I'm at One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, two. Yeah, dude, it's like two points for the little guys, three for the big guys. Yeah. The vehicle killing armies killing vehicles. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Got a, got a good move on this Disco Lord. He's going to try to fuck. We uh, pulled back this uh, War Dog just to still be on the objective, but just kind of be hiding more. Mm -hmm. We strategically reserved in this unit. We're going to start deploying them scramblers, yeah, aiding our engage in all fronts situation. We're just going to move these guys up here. I don't want to charge you into an Overwatch of free flamers. We're just going to stand there and make you do something about me. Yeah. And it's just currently operation. How many points can I get before I run out of models? Hopes and dreams on this guy. <laughs> He's the carry. So as far as shooting goes, I don't really, really, really don't have it. I have some bolters over here. So what we're going to try to do is get super lucky with some bolters on this guy with one wound left yeah. right here. Well, actually, you uh, did perform Oh, wait, actually, right? we're doing an action, so I'm yeah. new to actions. So they're not going to do anything. I'm pretty sure I don't have any bullets because I advanced the guy. Uh, these guys moved. I guess I can shoot their pistols at these guys. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what that means in terms of raw power, but... How about this? We'll shoot four of their pistols. I feel like that's two hits. I think they're probably toughness three. Yeah, T3. Two armor saves right there. You gotta kill one. You gotta kill one to be even. Yes. One damage. And I'm gonna throw a frag grenade Ooh. with my fifth guy. Okay. I think that's D6, right? Mm. Ooh, six. Totally meaningless. So, and uh, strength three, I think. Yeah, T3. So we need fours. Fours. So it ended up just oh. being one. Look at that. It's pretty much. No just <laughs> Back fours? Oh, just right. one damage. All right. <laughs> We're even. We killed the guy. They killed the guy. Yeah. Totally fucking even swap. Well, oh, they have two wounds. Sorry. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. <laughs> I just want you guys to know. Cast base means I have one wound. <laughs> and these regular ass humans with fucking, I don't know, like hang gliders attached to their back? Yeah. And like bottle rockets? I, two wounds. I think the extra wound comes from the bottle rocket. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, okay. That makes, that makes sense. That makes sense. So what we're going to do over here is we're just going to have to take it on the chin, this Lord Discordant. 
is going to nominate all of this as a charge, and he's going to try to hit both of you. So, are you going to Overwatch me with anything over there? I will. That's it. I will not Overwatch. All right. So, he's going to make it. How far of a make it is it's a five. So, we're just going to push in and touch both units right here. Regained a command point, right? So, yep. we have one again to spend. We're going to spend it back on Demon Forge again. Okay. So, that's our full rerolls yeah. shenanigans. And so, we're going to split up our attacks. So, his extra attacks from his mount dropped to down to four from five. So these are D3, his glaive is two, he's got the injector, which I just want to put that on this guy. Those guys are two up saves. Is he a stock three up or what is he? Three up. Three up. So I'll, I'll put three the mecha tendrils there. We're going to put the glaive into these guys, the stock into these guys, the rest here. Okay. Okay, so the glaive is two flat. So here's the war glaive hitting on twos with full rerolls. So it's threes because you're talking this is five, right? Correct. So threes with full rerolls. And that is a solid five wounds on neg two, two flat damage. So I'm saving on fours. Uh, saved uh, three, failed two. So the Hellstalker is going to finish off on them, hitting on twos. And these are again are going to wound on threes, full rerolls. Or neg two. Negative two? Negative two. Same thing. All right. But this one's D3 damage because we're in old codex. Okay. What, to um, total of four. Four. Four at negative two. So I'm saving on fours again. We need a good roll here. So uh, two. Failed two. Average. So what we need is, uh, these are D3 damage. We need to not roll really bad. First one. So we only kill one. It's two and then it'll be one. Two will be one. Okay, yeah. so we kill another one. Okay, now let's see if we can actually hurt the Dragoon. It's going to hit on two with a reroll. Ooh, death to the False Emperor. Ooh, sixes. And now it's, again, its strength is higher than you, so it's going to be wounding on threes. So it's two. This will be on your six up and vulnerable. It's like minus three or four or some shit. Gotcha. Sixes. Yep. Hail. And so that'll be your last wound. Yep. So he has this really cool special rule. When he kills a vehicle keyword with this specific weapon, he can like shoot a beam into another vehicle Whoa. or heal a friendly demon engine. It'll be himself. Oh, he's going to heal himself. Yeah. yeah. So all I have to do is look back in my book to see if that's a D3 or just a straight up one. Because I, I think it's like D3 mortal wounds. Let's look at the rule. A friendly demon engine. I can heal D3 wounds. So oh. he's going to heal himself. Let's I'll go. just throw it right here. You got me? Mm. Two wounds back on the Lord Two D. Two wounds back. Okay, I'm going to roll for my explosion. Oh, and he's going to take him right Oh, he explodes. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, so I'm back up to eight wounds. And okay. so what is it, D3? Is this thing is yeah, a D3? Yeah, D3 to each. So oh, first, God. I'll do mine. Oh, my God. Roll a one. That's going to be a fucking okay. two. Watch this shit. Get the fuck oh, out of here. Man. So I just healed my... <laughs> <laughs> back to... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Like no matter what he's gonna do or no yeah. matter what happens, he's gonna either kill me in close combat or fall back and everything's gonna shoot me. Yeah. So they're like I'd rather him I'd rather just add those two galvanic rifles to the pool and just deal with it and make him do it in his turn. Alright. At the end of Kenny's turn, he has brought his Lord Discord over here to this objective. He killed off that last dragoon on his last wound. He also killed off two of my breachers. Um uh, and uh, my yield for two. And then my dragoon <laughs> proceeded to explode for two. <laughs> uh, that was cool. Uh, red, uh, he, he's got some Chaos Space Marines over here. Um, deploy the Scrambler. As we go into my turn, he scores two more points for Engage for being in three quarters. He also scores two points for doing his second Scrambler. And then I will score one, two. Oh, I'll score uh, 15 for primaries because I hold four. Uh, uh, holding two and holding more than Kenny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, let's get it. Sorry, guys. I said earlier that um, you score two points for doing two actions for scramblers. You actually get four points. Um, so it goes four points for two, three point, or eight points for three, and then 12 points for all four. So sorry about that. All right. So in my command phase, I have a lot to go through. Uh, where did I put it? So for my canticle, I decided to take uh, the litany of the Electromancer. So when this canticle is active, each time a melee attack is made, uh, against this unit, subtract one from the attack's hit roll. Uh, I'm not going to be picking a Doctrina this time. Uh, I don't want to have to deal with the depreciation effect. And then all the other pointing stuff. <laughs> um, Engine Seer will point at this Dune Crawler to awaken the Machine Spirit. Actually, he'll, he's going to advance his Holy Order to the next one. So he's going to perform the action, which means he can't do the other one this turn. Holy Order of the Low Guy goes there. Sorry, same thing. Everything from these two guys, we're just gonna go into this blob again. <laughs> so these, this blob is just buffed up. I feel up. like we're at this like <laughs> list of everything you wrote down continues to be 
thrown down. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, all, all ten things I wrote down here. <laughs> cool. We'll get into my movement phase now. Awakening the machine spirit, booting up Windows 95. Yeah. All right, so I lied. I'm actually going to be taking this imperative this turn because I need the extra three inches in order to get into that quadrant over there so that this unit can perform an action. Uh, so I finished my movement phase, uh, got off this objective uh, with my techno archaeologist, uh, bring him back to his boys over here, um, otherwise he would just have been uh, dead to these boys. <laughs> Brought these rangers up over here. Seems overkill. <laughs> yeah, might be, <laughs> but we'll see. I I've rolled like six ones before in my life. Fire range, there. Fire range, here. Oh. Gotta take down that disco lord. Disco is dead. <laughs> This disco lord is going to make more saves than he's ever been made. He's ever been asked to make in his life. Yeah, it's not even fair of me. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I actually like disco music. I think it's groovy. Um, but yeah, you would kind of stay stay put. Stay tuned for more disco grooving with John P on OnlyFans. Yeah, and then uh, these guys kind of just moved up here. Um, it's going to be oh, just moving around the board. And then um, I've got last but not least my Taraxi over there flew over those Chaos Space Marines to get closer to the uh, center of the board. They're going to uh, deploy this, a scrambler. Hopefully they're going to be in position to get into that corner and get the, the last one. Reachers into him. Four it's gonna, shots. It's going to be okay, buddy. Yeah. It's going to be okay. Got this don't worry. They don't have any weird guns that do three flat damage and win on fours. Okay. Don't worry about yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, win on fours. I'm just going to roll this dice. I failed it. It's a negative two. Oh. <laughs> two flat damage or three? Uh, three. Oh, great. Oh, luckily there's only a five-man squad, five squad over there in the corner. <laughs> Seems good. We're on fours. Ooh, you could, you, could, you could pull this off. How many? Cool, Lord. Only one. One. You Four can survive up. the breachers. <gasps> Six. Uh, the Doom Crawler now, uh, he'll just fire everything into him. Uh, first will be the Neutron Laser. D3 shots. Two shots. Hang on threes. Oh, sorry. Hang on twos. Because I awoken his machine spirit. Oh, boot it up okay. the old. Yeah, wake me up. <laughs> Probably threes. Twos. Twos. Okay, good thing it was twos. I rolled a two and a one. <sighs> Saved. Ooh. Five up, baby. Five up. All right. All right, so uh, we'll do the techno archaeologist. He has an eradication pistol. Mm. These three shots. One. Good start. Threes. Mars reroll. Nice. Hits. Wounds on fives, fours. What's strength? Six strength. Six strength. Fours. Fours. Hits. Minus three. <sighs> nice. I'll take it. It's, oh, two it's minus three, you said, right? Yeah, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> oh, he's on his last wound, he's guys. On his last wound. He's still in the game. He's going to have to shoot again. Yeah. Um, I still have these rangers here. Not many can shoot because of this building. Eight in this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah so eight can shoot. So eight shots. Um, bo -bo -bo -bo. Eight shots. One huh? because I moved. Yeah, so I'm going to spend two for a galvanic volley fire again to change their shots to rapid fire. Savage. Yeah. Hang on, threes. Pulling some dice up. I'm guessing five. What if I told you you were right? Five and minus one. <sighs> oh, that's a one. Do I have any command points left? No, I, just, I spent it. It's not my command phase yet. He's gone. So now we're going to see if he blows up. He does not. Well, we knew you were going to die. At least it was cool. The Disco Lord. Oh, that was, is that John P's objective marker? Yeah. Get out of here. That's, that's, that's why I kept fighting for it, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's got my face on it. <laughs> that shall do it for my turn, actually, because uh, everything here just fired there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Things are kind of just in the cut. Yeah, those guys are He's hiding. Of, yeah. Um, They're they, currently hiding. Yeah, they performed action over there. They action. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's going to do it for my turn. At the end of my turn, I, I'll score engage. Uh, I'm in three quadrants, and I also get points for um, do, 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 do. that back corner over there for Octarius Data. Yes, sir. So now I'm up to eight points there. Uh, I'm at 14 now. So for primaries, I'm holding that one. And that one, so more than one. So 10? 10, yep, 10. Hell yeah. Yeah, going to your turn, 63 to 38. We shuffled the armor gear here, so we can draw some line of sight to this one breacher. He's actually the guy who has the wound, so we'll just try to kill him. 
And then we can actually snipe that objective away, maybe change the score a little bit. Yeah. We've got our deploy and scramblers unit coming out of strategic reserves right here. We're going to stand right here, maybe do some guns, but we're not going to charge again. He's got enough command points to kill us with flamers. And we've just given up on that side of the table. <laughs> and we just moved up this unit, jump on this objective. So if everything goes according to plan, we might be, you know, you're holding three and he might only be holding two. Yeah. So we'll see. Made the best moves we can. We'll do some shooting. Let me just make sure my uh, war dog doesn't uh, suffer his damnations this turn. It's just a leadership check. He passes. He's leadership 10 because of his pact. Gets no other benefit. It's just something you got to remember to roll. And now we are going to just enter the shooting phase by shooting that war dog. It's really our only guns of import. We're going to aim at this breacher unit right here. The auto cannons, is, uh, each one of them is 2d3, so it's a total of 4d3. Not a great start. Two, three, four, five shots. So we hit on threes. And where strength is higher than his toughness, so we need threes again. And it's three wounds. It's only minus one. Three wounds at minus one. Saving on threes. So I'm just trying to get him to fail this one, and then that'll be great for me. He does. I failed one. So That's two damage? Three flat damage. Takes me off the objective. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a CPB roll. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Got it. <laughs> Got him. So. dead. The one wounded guy yeah. off the objective, which is like, you know, just helps yeah. with points. Yeah, let me decrease my CP. Damn. And as far as bullets go, I've just got that same group of five chaos space marines over there shooting his hang glider crew. Yep. Oh, yeah, one guy's one wound. So it's uh, four. We're going to do the same thing we did last time. Four bolters and one frag grenade. Or four, four bolt pistols. Here's the pistols. It's uh, three armor saves. And I'll get the frag grenades out for you. It's four shots. Two hits. One wound, so four total armor saves. Okay, so four on uh, zero, so save it on fours. I failed three. Kill two guys total? Yeah, kill two guys Ooh, total. Ooh, start is back on top. Uh, Chaos Space Marines. All right. All right, I feel like uh, I've got no charges that I'm interested in, and uh, we have uh, deployed some scramblers. We've gotten engaged, so picked up some more scramblers. What is that, two more four, yeah. two more points? Scramblers? scramblers right here. You got yeah. three, three corners, right? Three corners now. So that's eight points. Ooh. Eight points and two more on engage. Yeah. Doing it. I, hold, I only hold two, so mm -hmm. I'll get 10 points for primaries. All right. I did it. Round four. Uh, we actually forgot morale here. So two guys died. So they have a leadership of seven. So one guy will run on a six. Got a five. He's good. No run. In the move, end of my movement phase, I just scooted my Taraxi over here. I'm gonna try to get into this last quadrant to deploy the last scrambler. I also just moved up my rangers forward here. They can't really shoot at anything because there's a lot of uh, nice obscuring. It's got their boys right behind them. Reachers. This guy just standing there in the corner. Hasn't moved an inch. Uh, this guy kind of scooted up just a little bit. Uh, got over here. Got my boys moved up. Rangers moving up. This Catherine Breacher is going to look to shoot the war dog, get revenge for his fallen brother. <laughs> Man, doing shit. <laughs> he probably won't. We'll see. And then last but not least, um, just... The techno archaeologist right behind them, his dwarf boy. Guy from Breacher here. Shoot for his fallen brother <laughs> at he's, the war dog. He's like, this war dog shoots at us one fucking time. <laughs> Come on. All right, so I'll be hitting on fours. Missed both. <laughs> Mars. Solid start. Strong. Got it. Strong. Hit it. Got a six. Luckily, Ooh. luckily, you needed one on fives, though, right? Uh, it's, is that vehicle? Yeah. Uh, not against vehicles. Not <laughs> 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 against vehicles I went up for. I got six. Uh, five is a five up save. Nice. Look, where the fuck were these? <laughs> when it mattered. See, yeah. this is the nature of dice. <laughs> yeah, so, they, they show up when they don't, when yeah. you don't need them. <laughs> I mean, when they show up when you don't need them, that's bad luck. Yeah. When they show up in the clutch, that's good luck. They yeah. always show up. Like, look how many times I rode four sixes or how many times yeah. I rode double fives. Jeez. It's just it's, it wasn't in the clutch. Yeah, it literally saved you earlier, I guess, with that disco lord, right? Yeah. Dude, Carter, uh, I think you can also see the war dog who's... He's straight in line with the uh, the breacher. Let's see. Here we, see here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. There we go. We got it. The base to the model. There it is. Nice. I can see him. I can. Okay. Uh, I'll just fire both the stubber and the laser at him. First, the laser. D three shots. Oh, One wait. shot. Do I have a command point back? 
You do? I'm rotating nine. Oh, wait. I guess I should have already done that. Oh, I'll yeah. save it next no. time. Are you I'll sure? Su- no, I'm going to survive this round. Oh, yeah, you got it. I'm going to survive this you round. You got this one I'm going to raw, raw dog this All right. one. <laughs> He's raw dogging it with the war dog. Raw one dog, sh- war dog. That's <laughs> his new nickname. <laughs> one shot hits. Wounds on a three. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah. He raw dogged it. Yeah. <laughs> this war, war backwards is raw. <laughs> What? Yo, subscribe to John P for more <laughs> wordplay tips. Only fans. Let's go. All right, heavy stubber. All right. Uh, we roll one for Mars. Miss. Uh, probably only on fives. I wound two. No AP. Okay, war dog. We're going to raw dog these stubbers? Yeah, we are. Oh, he just fucking <laughs> Keep took it. Keep that stubber raw. Took it. No, didn't even rotate. He Nothing. just took it. Nothing. Raw. All right. I think that ends it for my shooting phase, actually. And my face and... General. <laughs> I will accept your concession at any time. Yeah, we're going raw. <laughs> I'm holding this objective still. That obje- oh, is this my first 15? No, it's not 15, is it? it? I also have three. It's yeah. still 10. It's three just three. 10. Yeah. yeah. So still, still continue to get my 10 points on primary. Yeah. Let's uh, go. So let's see. The score is 75 to 54. Oof. Got some ground to make up. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, if this war dog survives this battle, we will rename him the raw dog. <laughs> We're basically setting up everyone to shoot bolters and auto cannons here. We're gonna do this. We're gonna throw our pistols again. We don't, we're not gonna be able to do a grenade. We're too far. We're barely in twelve, and he's got all this stuff that's gonna murder everything in my army. But we're trying to close the distance on the score when I play in a tournament. Win or loss, I'm trying to maximize my score at all times. I'm t- you know, you, you acknowledge the loss, and you're just still trying to finish hard, right? You try to, yeah. you know, every five points can increase your finish. Like, there's a difference between top 10, top 20, top 30, you know? Yeah, more points. So. Got five for them points. You got five for them points. Shooting phase. So we're going to start with the pistol group. We don't get to throw the grenade. You're at a range. We actually only get to throw four pistols because my champion... He's got two close combat weapons. Let me see this guy. Is he, <laughs> does he got two chain swords? Two oh. axes. Oh, my gosh. He's, dude, he's, he looks sick. He's metal AF. Yeah, dude, have you heard of Slambo? Oh, yeah, of course. He reminds me of Slambo. That's why I modeled him after. <laughs> Let's go. So, back in the old days, I used to get in more fights with them. But <laughs> So, here's some bolt pistols. Mm, two hits. We need those clutch <laughs> fours or threes because you're only done this three. Yeah, I'm T3. So, two armor saves from my man, John P. All right, fours right here. Save them both. Word. We're gonna throw long range bolters. So we're at the maximum range. It's is it it's two shots if you didn't move, right? Yeah, two shots. That's how these hateful volleys work. Yeah. So here we go. We're gonna throw our rapid fire bolters. Threes again. And that is a two, four, five armor saves for you. Uh sorry. This was also at the same boys, Traxi. Fours. I failed three. So that means one dies, one goes down to one. All right, so the raw dog is coming in clutch now. Here's our raw dog auto cannons, the official cannon term for these. It's 4D3 again. There we go, six, seven, eight, nine. But here we go. And that is five neg ones. Five at negative one. Means I'm looking for fives here. I saved two, failed three. So that three, wipes. Three flat damage, baby. Yeah, that is a wipe. My my boy likes it raw. What can you ah, say? He likes it raw. He doesn't like the heat. I'm done deploying scramblers. At least I get engaged, and at least I am actually holding objectives. So. Yeah. Fighting for every point. Fighting it. Grinding. Going into round five, I hold three, but not more than you, so I get 10 points. 85 56. Okay. All right. Round five. Let's go. Round five, also known as the, as the scoring round. Um, so I just moved up my rangers over here, got them past the halfway point, get that, this quadrant for engage. Same over here, this Chiron Breacher got halfway, and I used the Techno Archaeologist to point the actions thing at him so he can perform actions. So he's going to be deploying the last uh, Octarius data or Scrambler. He's going to be deploying the last Scrambler. Well, I refuse to use the new term, it is deploy Scrambler. Yeah. So there has not been enough deployed Scramblers yet. Yeah. We still have more to deploy. <laughs> Everywhere, deploy them everywhere, <laughs> scramble everything. <laughs> All right, and then uh, just move these breaches over here. So yeah, I think like 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 three guys can see him. Oh shit! Like oh, tons of guys. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that like, whole channel. Yeah. Yeah, there's at least a grip. Just, just not these four, and then not like. These I'd say like five. I can see, I think I can see four all the way two, back. Four heads. Four, 
five. Yeah, I'll say yeah, four. You said four? Yeah, four, four. Four heads, I think. Four heads, cool. Four heads. We're gonna shoot. Four heads, uh, they have heavy guns and they moved. So I get uh Oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna rotate iron shields this time. Oh, that's cool. Mm. Uh, raw dog's not taking it raw? No, no, he took it raw last time. All right. He he learned his lesson. He, he earned his title. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. All right, so we're hitting on fours. Uh, we roll one for Mars. Fives. All right, two with two. So we got four ups. Passes one, fails one. What's the damage on that? One damage. One damage. So my man, I think they're like 14 wound models. I'm, I gotta, I'm, about, oh, to wow. look, I'm about to look that up because it's been so long since I had a knight on the table. Know, I'm going to just put a 13 there. We're going to yeah. pretend it's 14 until I look it up. Do you ever guys ever think about like learning? A, like imagine you learned like Latin in college. It's a dead language. It's utterly irrelevant, yeah. right? I've learned like seven versions of Latin and just in Warhammer 40K. They're still in my brain, and they're never going anywhere, and I'm very concerned that I'm going to forget my mom's face one day. Uh, high Gothic Latin, I yeah. think is what they use, right? So it's actually 12 wounds. Okay. So it was, and it was a 14 inch move. <laughs> you got the so numbers jimble jambled. Yeah, yeah. It's from all the scramblers that were the yeah, point. Hey, yo, messing with your numbers. Yeah, poor, poor right. Raw Dog over here yeah. is like, come on, guys. Raw Dog's hitting pretty well. Raw Dog. Yeah, I think that's it. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I can't really shoot over there. Because the, the lip is covering. Oh, yeah. It yeah. certainly is. I didn't even think of that. I think that's it for this turn. World's fastest turn, JP. World's fastest turn. <laughs> I score at the end of turn five. Is that how this works? Yeah, you score at the end of turn five. So so, primaries. Yes. My primaries. primaries. Yeah, so for my turn, I would get uh, I get all four quadrants for engage. You got your max engage? Yeah, and then I get four more for doing the scrams. The scram, the scrams, scrams. Just, just a thought here. So he's got one and two. And three objectives, I can't do anything about. So I'd have to actually clear him off of objective to actually improve my primary. Yeah. Which is very difficult. <laughs> uh, borderline not possible, right? So I need to hold at least two to get ten points, so which is easily done. So like, so there is, I guess, a, like a, I mean, I can get off an objective and do something if it would enhance my score at all. But as I see it, there is no enhancement to my score. It is yeah. simply the last time I get engaged, and the last time I hold two objectives. There's any bullet, any dice I throw in the air, any armor save I force you to make is irrelevant to the final score. Yeah. So I'll call it there. All right. Okay. I guess that will do it for the game. GG's Kenny, my man. Can I keep this codex? Sure. My new army, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Good game. Good game, I truly man. appreciated yeah, you explaining how ad mech works yeah. to me, which in simple terms is... Um, they shoot. Get fucked if you're a tank. Yeah. <laughs> I, I knew like the breachers and stuff would do really well against vehicles, but mm -hmm. I did not expect them to just do that well, <laughs> honestly. They're my favorite unit yeah. right now. Like I've said it a few times throughout this game to beat a dead horse. It's like I know they lost some stuff, but you were it, that didn't matter to you. You were able to do things with them as you needed to. Uh, and even though they only hit on fours and don't get all this like cumulative reroll weight that they used to, that's fine, man. Yeah. Here's ten shots. I'll get five hits. Yeah. I'll get four, three or four wounds. Yeah. The, the old. Oh, the you old failed a couple. That's nine damage, dog. Like that's that's good damage. Yeah, that's solid damage. The final score was what was it, ninety-two to sixty-eight, which was sixty-eight. You said was about the same score I you did last time. I think sixty-eight is about. <laughs> we'd have to. I had to fact check that, but I feel like that's a similar score to my last game. Like it's so sub it's like so subjective, right? It's like that sixty eight can be a win. Yeah, could also be a loss. <laughs> <laughs> You're consistently getting sixty eight though, so it's just a matter of can you stop the other guy from scoring sixty eight? Yeah, yeah. But how about uh, for this game? What would you say is your MVP? Well, it's hard to say because everything died as soon as you decided it <laughs> needed to die, <laughs> and the only guy who didn't was Rob Dog, as he's now known, or Armager. But like realistically, he didn't do much. He uh, <clears throat> killed a. Uh, breacher. He killed some glider guys. He put a, I think he killed a dragoon. Yeah. Right. So like, I mean, he did some things. Like now that I say it, he did some things. He like shuts the, you know, the doors on a couple of things. But I would say it was probably our uh, main night, our, our surviving night after you went first, because he yeah. he did open the game. Uh, he's what kept me able to get 68 points, because like he stepped up to the plate, ran up the center, split fire. Uh, trail of Destruction, shot two different yeah. targets, shut down all your Iron Striders with rerolls, and so like, 
That's all he did, though. Honestly, yeah. like if he didn't do that, though, I mean, the Iron Stars was. I mean, it just would have been. I mean, it would have been everything I lost would have been lost in that next sequential turn. Uh, dude, games. the way he's modeled too is very on point with how he shot yeah. the Delta guns. It's, it's just like this a, over like, here, over you, there. <laughs> when you see a model like model this way, you know he fucks. Yeah, this guy fucks. <laughs> yeah, this guy's. And would, he did. I Hell Drakes were my losers though because. Uh, uh, you were smart, that's why. I, I, I knew what they can do. They could run, they could tap, touch on my things, they could flame my things. Uh, they, they were definitely something I, I definitely when I you put see the right a, priority when on. When you them. see a cast player who's hype on Heldrakes, do what John P did. Don't take this bait. Don't take this night bait. Cause like, he's like, you might get caught up with like, oh, I need to deal with them now, start putting all my shots into these now. It'll be a minute, they're gonna do their thing. You let me go first with these guys and, yeah. and let them go 30 inches. And like just with the one who limped along, I could stop two major threats in your army from doing anything. Mm -hmm. If I got to go first with the way your army is forced to be deployed, I would have been like, I would have essentially turned off yeah. your, your turn one shooting phase. Yeah, you would have tapped, touched everything in that corner and touched everything in this corner. Yeah. yeah. And so they are only my losing unit because you were smart, but I would st I still rate them high, but just because of how it played out, that's just how it went down. Yeah. Man. But how, how about you? What was your number one unit? Uh, probably MVPs for me are gonna be my breachers. I, Breaches, yeah, so beastly. I, I definitely think taking the ar techno archaeologists to point at them so they they can perform actions and still shoot. Very good. Uh, on top of that, they definitely performed better than I thought they were going to perform against, uh, I guess, vehicles. Uh, at the, uh, dealing, I guess, like two and three damage with their melee weapons and their guns. Oh my it god! Started, it started to add up slowly, it and did. things were just dropping. And they're burly. They're just burly little yeah. units. And they're tough. Yeah, T five. Yeah. You got to do the full spectrum. Yeah. Right? You got to move, do actions, sh assault. Yeah, assault. All. You got a breacher across the table. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Halfway. Yeah. That's true, man. What was your least effective unit in this game? Least effective? I don't know. Uh, I don't think you had any. Uh, yeah, everything kind of just did its job. Maybe, actually, no, the Doom Crawlers still did things. I mean, Doom Crawlers were yeah. like, yo, take 10 wounds, take yeah. 11 wounds, yeah. though. Like, they, they both put five wounds on things, like, right out the gate. Yeah. I feel like you might not have a, a, a like, Everything did. So I guess I think it has to be your glider boys. Yeah, they did the. I mean, even I though they, they scored, they physically scored points, but did not kill things. Yeah, if I had to pick one, definitely the glider boys. Even though your least effective units still scored points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great game. Great having you once again, Kenny. Um, if you if you guys like content like this, feel free. Please support us on uh, Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash dice check a Y T. In addition, if you guys are interested in these custom objective markers. Put any image on them. Get six for $25. Check out 3D6 Wargaming. And once again, this In the Trenches Battle Report was sponsored by FLG. FLG hosts all the ITC battle events. Also get all these cool mats. MDF Terrain. Mm. FLG, great. And last but not least, Kenny. How about yourself, man? Oh, man, you know, I'm just doing great, dude. Yeah. Oh, are you talking about me plugging stuff? Yeah, good. <laughs> feel free to plug it, whatever you want. Well, if you uh, liked some of these nights you saw on the table today, uh, we do a Twitch stream. Three days a week, twitch.tv forward slash next level painting. Check it out. It's it's a good old time. It's almost a paint and chill. You know? I think last last I saw you were doing like a bloat drone. Yeah, I'm having yeah. a lot of fun with the bloat drone. I'm going to be bringing the Death Guard back. The Death Guard. Uh, not yet, not yet. Yeah, I can't wait to see the Blood Angels too. <laughs> Those are going to be sick. Those are down the road. I got more. I'm just having too much fun in you guys' beat slab running janky old school <laughs> chaos armies. Uh, that will do it for this In the Trenches Battle Report. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Goodbye.